Hey guys, it's Tamisha from Toolbox Divas, and in this video, I'm gonna restain my deck. So a few years ago, I totally redid my deck. I created new rails, and I stained it a natural neutral color. And for the floors, I used a color solid stain. And I stained it blue. Okay, I love the blue. But I've been sitting on it for quite some time, and now I'm tired of it. So stay tuned while I show you how I restain the floor of my deck and go through the process of selecting the perfect color. All right guys, let's get dirty. The first step in this process is I'm clearing off my deck and I am going to actually clean it. After sweeping off the debris, I'm going to clean it with Olympic deck cleaner and use the pressure washer to remove any dirt and old residue. So before I can stain the deck, I'm prepping the deck by filling any miscellaneous holes left over from when I removed the umbrella. And I'm scraping any places where the paint is actually chipped. And I have a couple boards that are not in the best condition. They're not rotten, but they could use a little bit of love. So I'm applying some Bondo Rotted Wood Restore to uh, harden those places. So I'm starting by staining the rails first. And I'm using a paint sprayer to thoroughly stain the rails. So I'm making sure to tape off the post caps as well as uh, the floor and the plants around the deck to make sure that the stain doesn't get on any of that. So for the railings, I just applied a coating of the Olympic Maximum and a clear transparent sheen. It's a stain and sealer in one. And best of all, it's rain ready in eight hours. That's really important, especially in the spring where it rains all the time. So once I was done spraying the railings, I let it dry overnight, went and got my hair done and started on the floor the next day. I sanded down the areas where I originally applied wood filler and scraped any areas where the paint was uh, chipped and sanded it down till it was smooth and removed the excess dust and debris with a blower. Then I carefully taped off the edge of the house because I did not want to get any paint on the house when using the paint sprayer. So to help me make a decision on what color will be perfect for my updated deck, I actually decided to make use of the computer and try out different sample colors on the computer versus coming out here with the sample paint and then just painting various lines and thinking, hmm, does this work? Does this work? No. So I just made a mood board and just changed out all the colors and came up with the perfect color. I decided on the Olympic solid stain of woodland green. When I first started putting this color down, I was like, oh gosh, what is this? Did I really make the right decision? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure other people when they walked by thought the same thing too. <laughs> what is she doing? What is with that color? <laughs> so I tackled the edge and the perimeter of the deck using a paintbrush and a roller. You don't actually have to have a paint sprayer to stain the deck but I use a paint sprayer because honestly y'all, it made this process so, so easy. Using an electric airless paint sprayer, I was able to apply this stain to the floor of my deck in about an hour. Now, I will tell you before when I did this was just a roller and a brush, this process took a couple of hours. <laughs> so I am very happy with the fact that I went ahead and used a paint sprayer. The woodland green is so rich and vibrant and I love it. The Olympic Elite is the number one rated stain and it provides protection throughout the entire year in all four seasons. It also provides waterproofing protection. It's resistant to peeling and cracking. 
and it provides a fungal resistant finish. So the ultimate goal for my outdoor area this year is to achieve that beachy boho feel that I would if I'd been traveling a lot. And right now I'm just not traveling a lot. So the goal is to try to use my backyard space as well as possible. And the woodland green solid stain that I decided to go with just speaks to that theme and that that look so well. And honestly, I, I, I will admit, when I first started putting the stain down, I was like, okay, I'm not sure if this is for me. <laughs> but I'm so glad I stuck with it because I absolutely love, love the way that it turned out. Now I still have a lot to do on the deck as far as styling it and figuring out where I want my plants to be placed and what accessories that I that I want to bring in, but I absolutely love the direction that it's going in. Stay tuned for more updates and the final reveal for my outdoor boho chic coastal backyard makeover. And hopefully the cicadas won't be as loud by the time I'm done, but this year the cicadas are off the chain. <laughs> All right guys, till next time.